the players all give you a communication only musically. And so our connection with them is gestural, as it will be in the concert. Before they even start to play, I have in my mind this thing that I want. The trick is the making any changes in between. Dynamics, tempo, colors, instruments coming in or out, all of these sorts of things are changes and those we're responsible for. I once worked with the San Francisco Youth Symphony. They are really, really good, but when I do Chike 5, I've got this really funky sort of rubato for the second theme. So I said to the orchestra, guys, would you mind watching me just once? I know this is crazy, and listen. And then I did that, something like, I've got these internal words that are going on. And those internal words, they come out and they'll, they'll articulate them and it's just we don't actually hear what the text is. Yeah, was that closer? Yeah. And they're really reacting to you. I'm really grateful for your patience because the whole thing is, if you experiment here and it turns out not to be quite right, then you can do something a little bit differently. That's what rehearsals are for because the point is that then you start reacting in real time to the artistry that they're giving you. Yeah. In the end, we need to be like with a group of really great actors yeah. and we're the director. <sighs> How many notes are they playing while we actually give a, a, over two bars f no. eight beats? They've got tremolos. They've got tremolos and they've got all these scales they're playing. One, two, three, four, five, and So they, they clock up about, oh, maybe 60, 70 notes by the time we've done four gestures. So there's a lot more complexity going on. So we need to absolutely listen with that same kind of complexity. I would love to hear you actually kind of give, give your ideas about how the opening is supposed to sound. Do you want more out of them or do you want less out of them? Well, it's when the trombone and piano come in, so they make a, a bass that's a new sound, that's a new addition. Excellent. So then you want the beginning close, middle field, or distant? In the foreground, in the middle ground, or in the background? It should be background. Excellent. Do you want to try and see how many different dynamics they have? Piano, please. That's enough, because they keep repeating that for a few times. Now let's do pianissimo. Would you be so kind, go really high on the fingerboard and do three Ps? They got all these different, just, so yeah. all of a sudden, this one starts sounding like Mahler. I'm trying to get as much detail yeah. out of your head of how you want the thing as the composer put in. The clearer it sounds in your head, the clearer it will sound with the orchestra because you will automatically do what is necessary, even without thinking of it, to hear the things that are important to you. <laughs> 